We are out here in beautiful San Diego. Actually, it's not exactly San Diego. We're in a town called Carlsbad. It's like 10 minutes outside of San Diego City. I'm at my friend's apartment. He's in the Marines, so he had to go into work for like 10 minutes today. He just drove to the camp by with my other friend who went with him. Both got in last night. They got me crashing on the couch over here. This is my setup for the weekend. I'm not mad about it because about two feet away, you walk outside and this is how we're living out here. Jesus Christ. Christ. 75, 80 degrees, sunny every day. That is the beach right there, walking distance. I cannot wait to move out here. He said it hasn't rained in about two months since the beginning of June. It's gonna be an incredible weekend. What do we have planned? We're going to the beach when they get back and then we got tickets to the Padres game. Then we're gonna go out in San Diego, which is, it's like the, called the Gas Lamp District, which is supposed to be a pretty wild time. So that's today. Tomorrow, we're going to like a derby, like the horse races. We're gonna be betting a lot, hopefully win some money and then probably go out in San Diego again. Sunday, we got a room at the Harris Resort Casino. Should be a packed ass weekend. Monday, I'm actually meeting with one of my e-commerce clients that is, uh, they have their headquarters out here in Poway. Poway? I don't know. It's like 40 minutes from where my friend stays. So I'm going to go visit them, probably go out to lunch. So it's a pretty packed weekend. A lot of plans. I actually have to get on a call with a potential client like right now in like five minutes. Ugh, duty calls, man. Business hove a pleasure. Like I said, I chose this. I chose to be doing this and this is why I did it. So I could work while I travel. I could do really whatever I want and I'm doing it for the flexibility. I'm not sure how much more I'll be taping for the rest of it. So I'm just gonna try to enjoy myself, but it's gonna be a fudging blast. So what's all about, baby? Calls over, went real well. Looks like we're gonna be onboarding them as a client. Enjoying the day, waiting for my friends to get back. Poured up a little celebratory drink. Keep it on the down low, it's only like 10.30 a.m. right now. This is it right here. Work hard, play hard, eat right, live good. Remember, big dog's got it. this. Connor, if you can use four words to describe, I don't even know, last night or this weekend, what would you say? And you can't use incredulous. Liability. <laughs> <laughs> this weekend was just one giant liability. But it's Monday morning. We're gonna, we're gonna watch this bullshit solar eclipse. I'm just gonna look at it through the camera because I'm gonna, wow, is that... <laughs> I don't have to go blind so I can watch it from here. <laughs> is anything gonna this happen? Is why, no, this is what happens every time everyone goes fucking crazy and nothing ever happens. This is why you buy sunglasses like this for the eclipse because it gets sunny, and you can throw them down, and then when it gets dark, you can flip them up again. People need to understand, my process in my mind is gorgeous. 
All right, so that was the most fraudulent eclipse thing I've ever seen in my life, which is basically, every, I feel like every time that you're like, oh, you know, there's gonna be some crazy lunar solar eclipse, something like this happens where it's, it honestly might be the sunniest day I've ever encountered in my entire life. Anyways, a couple hours later, I'm actually going to meet with one of my clients. Huge coincidence that he just happened to work there. Their office happened to be about 30 minutes from where my friend lives in Carlsbad, right outside of San Diego. So I hit him up before I came out here and I was like, hey, listen, I'll be in the area for this week or whatever. Let's get together. You know, I want to see the office. Let's go out for lunch, whatever. We hadn't yet, we haven't met in person yet. I've been working with him for a while now, but just haven't met face to face. So I'm, I took my friend's car. I'm not really sure if it's like a warehouse. You guys are probably familiar with them if you watch my channel. It's Fantasy Job the company that sells fantasy football products, trophies, belts, draft boards, all that kind of stuff. So um, they let me film in there. That'd be cool because it's probably a warehouse with all their whoa, all their products and whatnot. And you guys will probably be interested in that. So that's what we're doing now. And then I have my flight tomorrow morning at like 10 a.m. So I'll be back in Dirty Jersey by like the nighttime. I actually, I'm having too good of a time out here and I just enjoy it so much in this area of the country that I called the airlines to push my flight back Thursday or Friday even, but it cost way too much money. The cheapest I could do was $400 just to move it like two days, so I'm obviously not gonna do that. Plus, I took a pretty big hit this weekend, you know, between the horse races, between the casino last night. I spent a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of money, but I'm always down to spend money on, uh, you know, like just experiences and doing things like this, so I'm okay with that. I, I know going into a vacation like this that it's gonna be expensive, and I just try to enjoy myself, and I've probably had about 50, over under is probably 50 margaritas this weekend and i might honestly take the over on that but uh, i'm driving on the highway right now so i'm gonna put this bad boy down and i'll check in with y'all later or tomorrow or whatever excited I am to be back in New Jersey. I'm just kidding, I love New Jersey, but I love California way more. Clearly I'm back home. Entire vacation was just awesome, just so much fun. I didn't want to film too much because we were just always out and about. We went to the beach a few days, we went to a Padres game, then we went out in the gas lamp district in downtown San Diego. I met with one of the clients I work with, got to see their office, which is awesome. I wanted to show you guys, because a lot of you guys obviously are following me from Fantasy Football, and you're probably familiar with the company Fantasy Jocks. I did want to show the warehouse around a little bit, but he didn't want me filming in there, totally understandable. We went to the Harris Casino and stayed there for the pool party. It was honestly a wild day. I, I, I really wish I could explain to you some of the things that happened while I was on vacation, but I might get banned from YouTube if I did. Just overall incredible vacation. Really got me recharged, like mentally, you know, I'm like ready to go and focus back in. I did work basically every day while I was there, you know, 
know, I'd get up, do my laptop, and then at night, people were going to sleep a little earlier, I'd stay awake a little later. I definitely didn't just completely take the, the week off, but I am behind on getting out content, fantasy football-wise, and that's really huge at this time of the year right now, like mid to late August. So I've been working all day, I got up really early this morning, and I've been pumping out content. So we're back in grind mode now. Birthday's coming up this week on Friday, or is it? Saturday, Friday, turn 25. Jesus Christ, I don't even wanna talk about that. I will say, I still feel like I'm like 18 or 19. Not on days I'm hungover, I don't. That, I can definitely tell the age difference. I just mean in terms of like mentally and, and just having so much ahead of me. You know what I mean? So, like a lot of people always talk about how like youth is, is, the, best, is the best time of their lives. And I'm definitely still in my youth, of course, but most people refer to ages, you know, like 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. And once you start hitting around 23, 24, 25, and you're my age, that's a lot less youthful, right? You gotta get a full-time job, you gotta, gotta try to start supporting yourself. I still 100% believe that my best days are ahead of me. I've had so much fun in my in my youth, you know, but there's so much to look forward to. I don't wanna limit myself to, to a life that, I, that doesn't seem enjoyable to me, and I'm certainly not doing that right now, so I don't know, I'm like, it's weird turning 25 because when you're younger, you think 25 is so old. And I might just be biased here because I am turning 25, but I feel like 25 is the new 20, 30 is like the new 25, 35 is the new 30, 20, whatever. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like you, it's acceptable to get a little older before you really get rid of your youth nowadays. And maybe I'm just being ignorant. I'm really not dreading getting, getting that much older right now. I don't know. Still good things ahead, but... It's just Nick's philosophy on life right now, I guess. Thursday night, it's 9.30 p.m. right now. I've been at, or I just left. I was at Starbucks since probably around noon today. At the same table, I didn't move. I didn't even eat there. Probably 12 or 13 straight hours of work today. I got back from Cali, so I had a lot of shit to catch up on. My birthday tomorrow, my license expires tomorrow. I need to get a new registration for my car. I didn't get either of those things done today because I couldn't really leave Starbucks. I was just in the goddamn zone. I didn't eat. I think I said that already. I'm forgetting shit now. Probably a good thing considering how much I ate and drank while I was in California. This is probably gonna end the episode. I'm sorry I'm in the dark here. I'm just driving home. I forgot my camera, so I'm doing this on the iPhone. Turn. So yeah, this is gonna end the week 20, 23, I think, vlog. So if you enjoyed, please scroll down a little bit. Give the video a thumbs up up and i appreciate y'all sticking around till this point if you did subscribe to the channel if you're new i'll be coming at you with a vlog every saturday as i always do following my start of my marketing business so i'll see you guys tomorrow morning on my birthday Whee!